This mention filter is uh, uh, used after delta sigma modulator. You know, oversampling ADC consists of uh, delta sigma modulator followed by uh, decimation filter. This decimation filter is uh, a low pass filter. You know, there's a, a, a delta sigma modulator accepts uh, analog input. Yeah, this is a, a delta sigma modulator. Yeah, it accepts uh, analog input U and then generates a digital output B. This uh, digital output B can be uh, one bit or two bit or five bit. So this is a digital. Uh, this digital data is a very high data rate. You know, this uh, FS is uh, Nyquist rate times uh, oversampling ratio. Then the decimation filter is uh, a low pass filter. It generates uh, a data rate uh, at the Nyquist rate uh, and uh, with many bits, 16 bits, for example. So this can be 1 bit, 2 bit, 3 bit. Uh, at the uh, data rate of FS, this uh, decimation filter output is uh, uh, 16 bit parallel data at the data rate of uh, Nyquist rate, which is uh, 2 FB. OK, what's a decimation? The meaning of a decimation is uh, destroy a great number of in Roman army, if army has uh, some desertion or some doesn't obey the superior, uh, they, they kill every one out of 10 soldiers. That's the origin of decimation. They want to keep the army force, but they want to punish them. So they kill every 10th person. And in, in uh, signal processing, the decimation means the reduce the sampling rate. Antonym is interpolation. Interpolation increases the sampling rate. Decimation reduces the sampling rate. Okay. So let's see. Mm. So decimation filter, the frequency response uh, must be very flat into signal band. This is a flat frequency response. And then, so we want to reduce very small until half half pass, OK? We want to keep constant flat from DC to FB. We want a flat response. So phase response, uh, we want the phase response is uh, proportional to signal frequency. Then we need the FIR. Finite impulse response uh, filter guarantees linear phase with the frequency. So yeah, if a very sharp cut of low pass filter, a single low pass filter uh, is used for decimation filter, uh, say, yeah, this decimation filter is implemented by a single filter, which is a single low pass FIR filter. You know, then, so it, it should be pretty sharp, right? Pretty sharp, sharp characteristic sharp drop of characteristic. Then the filter tap can be too large, 5,000. So this is not economical. It takes a huge chip area. Instead, we implement a decimation filter in a few steps to reduce the number of FIR taps. Yeah, mostly we use a sync filter. Uh, let's see. Yeah. 
uh, decimation, uh, there is a uh, uh, delta sigma modulator. We use uh, sync filter for the first stage. And then we use uh, some droop correction, droop correction. And then we use a uh, half band filter, uh, one, half band filter, two, half band filter, two. And we may use further half band filter, half band filter three. So the sampling rate is uh, uh, here, sampling rate is FS, a very high frequency. In the single filter, see, if, if this is output, see, uh, the sampling rate is uh, Nyquist rate here. Then this is uh, twice, eh, for FB. Half band filter reduces the sampling rate by half. This is 8 FB. Okay. The yeah, droop correction filter is, uh, uh, doesn't reduce uh, sampling rate. This is uh, a droop correction is uh, a kind of uh, uh, a FIR filter. Okay. Then the sync filter must reduce, uh, in this example, sync filter reduces uh, the sampling rate uh, uh, by, uh, let's just see, this is uh, 2 FV times OSR, right? So in this example, sync filter reduces the sampling rate uh, OSR over 4. Okay, this is the sampling rate reduction of this uh, sync filter. This is N. If I use another HF3, another half band filter, then yeah, this should be 18, 18, right? So sync filter, uh, this reduction becomes one half, right? Yeah, this is uh, known to be the most econom e economical implementation of a decimation filter, okay? Yeah, let's uh, briefly talk about the uh, uh, digital filters. Digital filter divided into FIR and IIR. FIR stands for finite impulse response. IIR stands for infinite impulse response. FIR doesn't have any feedback. IIR does uh, feedback. So. Uh, you know, impulse response is just this one, right? If my input ut is uh, this delta t, right? Or zero. Zero, one, two, three, this is uh, t over t, right? Normalized t. And then, you know, this is one, and this is uh, zero, zero, zero. That's uh, impulse input, right? Impulse input. If ut is uh, delta t, then the output is uh, my impulse response, right? So for the FIR, FIR, the impulse response uh, can be something like that. Say there is uh, some value, some value here, 0, 1, 2, uh, whatever, some, some value, right? So it is uh, 0 after some period, after some period, uh, uh, the the output becomes uh, zero. So we have a uh, impulse response has only only uh, these uh, four values, right? So it's, that's why it's a finite impulse response. In the IIR, uh, the impulse response is infinite. So this is uh, t over t. And this is uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, for the IIR, IIR output, the impulse response is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it never ends, right? Infinite uh, number of uh, impulse response. That's IIR. Yeah, IIR has a uh, uh, feedback circuitry. FIR does not have any feedback circuitry. Okay. 
Yeah, one example of a FIR is a comb filter. Yeah, comb filter is just this one. We'll talk about this one later. See, there is input U, and then there are adder here, and then actually subtractor. There are some delay element here. Uh, for example, this is NT delay. This is a delay. And then it subtract this one here. Then this output. Okay. So, yeah, for this uh, FIR, the transfer function is uh, just uh, 1 minus uh, Z minus N. Okay, this is a delay operator, right? G minus N. So impulse response is what? Impulse response is, uh, this is a T over T. This is a 0, 1, 2, 3, and N. Okay? This is N minus 1. Then, the impulse response is this, right? At the t equal 0, this is 1. At the t equal n, this is minus 1. Right? And all 0. Yeah, all 0. Except uh, those two points. Right? So it has only two non-zero taps. Non-zero taps. So it is a finite impulse response. right? It is FIR. You can see there are two feedboard paths, eh? no feedback. There is no feedback. This is FIR. This is called the comb filter. In the FIR, uh, the phase response is uh, the phase response is uh, phase characteristic is uh, proportional to omega. Say for example. Yeah, but in this case, uh, in this case, uh, see, uh, my phase characteristic can be written as, uh, yeah, h, z equal exponential j omega t, then this one can be written as uh, 1 minus uh, exponential minus j omega nt, right? So this one, uh, we can represent Z omega nt over 2 times uh, uh, J2 sine omega nt over 2, right? So here, this, this part uh, determines uh, phase response, right? Phase. This part uh, determines uh, magnitude response. So phase characteristic is, uh, you know, this phase characteristic is uh, here is uh, uh, minus, uh, minus uh, omega nt over 2. You can see it's uh, proportional to omega. Then, yeah, if the magnitude is uh, flat, then it's uh, just a replica. So there is no distortion. If magnitude is 1 for all frequency and phase is proportional to omega, there is no distortion uh, in different, uh, in combination of uh, different uh, frequency components. Okay, let's uh, look at the example of IIR. Uh, infinite impulse response. An example with IIR is uh, uh, integrator. That's a very simple example, right? So here, see, I have a adder here, and then this is output. I have one delaying element. So you can see, yeah, the transfer function is uh, forward gain, one minus loop gain, right? So this is my, uh, transfer function of an integrator. Yeah, you, I can represent this one. 1 plus uh, z minus 1, z minus 2, uh, g minus uh, 3, oops, g minus 3, g minus 4, or something like that. Right? So this integrator, the impulse response is uh, 
it's uh, infinite okay so you know the inverse response of this one is uh, this is a zero uh, before for negative integer is zero from zero to this is one this is one yeah all ones right This is, uh, oh, sorry, uh, yeah, yeah, it is. This is all ones, you know. That's an uh, impulse response. So it is uh, infinite uh, impulse response, right? Feedback will generate the infinite number of uh, uh, impulse response. Yeah, half band filter is an FIR filter. It reduces the uh, sampling rate by half. Transfer function is uh, centered uh, at the uh, uh, FS4. You know, this is a uh, half band filter is a low pass filter. It is a low pass filter uh, in our example. So this is uh, zero half FS. Eh? Then, yeah, this is uh, this is only uh, four FS. Eh? So this value should be one half eh? at the quarter fs. Eh? So transfer function may look like that. Yeah, it is uh, symmetrical with respect to this uh, quarter sampling frequency. In this case, uh, the tap coefficients are symmetrical. And then, so we can use a minimum number of taps it can reduce uh, hardware significantly. That's why we use uh, half band filter significantly uh, as, as many as possible in decimation filter, you know. There is a sync filter followed by droop correction filter and then followed by any number of half band filter, right? So half band filter, we can, we can use uh, uh, as many number of half band filters there cascaded to reduce uh, the number of FIR taps in decimation filter. Yeah, we can also use uh, a sync filter for decimation filter. We don't use uh, any others, uh, any, any help of end filter. Okay.